Hello, what's up? I'm Kata. I'll be playing Alice and the Reformatory of Witches. Yep, so here we go. In a big city, in a small house near a forest, lives Alice, the girl to whom strange things happen all the time. And as she grows, things are getting worse. Her father, who had disappeared to an unknown place years ago, was kind of, well, completely a wizard. But Alice, who grew up only with her grandmother, didn't know anything about this, and for a long time no one else knew it either. Until one day, in front of her house, two strange old ladies were waiting for her and asked her to come with them. Along the way, they promised her they would tell her why these strange things happened to her. And sometimes they even threatened her, um and said that if she didn't go with them, some really nasty things could happen to her. Mean old ladies. <laughs> in front of the door of the old church, Alice hesitated. One of the women pushed Alice inside, and she gasped in surprise. From the inside, from inside it wasn't a ruined church, but, but what? Well, honey, we're finally here. We will cure you of your witch abilities. Trust me. You're going to lock me in a room with a barred window. Okay. What's this paper? It says rules for the witch reformatory. Witches can't blah blah. The entire building of the reformatory is shielded from magic of any kind. Do not try using it. So I'm in a reformatory for witches. Am I a witch? Anything else this thing says? Uh, rules of reformatory, all witches have to get up and go to bed early, attend the treatment that will cure them of their magic skills. This sounds awful. And they emphasize that no magic works in the reformatory. Um, okay. It's locked. Let's talk to this person. Hi, I'm Alice. Um, the girl seems to be oblivious to the world around us, and her, sh her strange expression. Now so old. Looks like a mouse hole, but I don't see anything inside. Okay, what about this stone over here? It's protruding out of the wall. This stone sticks out slightly, but it holds firmly in the wall. Okay, I'll arrange this pillow for the girl. Maybe she will try to lie down later. Um, it seems there's something inside. It's weird. It seems there's a notebook hidden inside the pillow. But the pillow is made of a strong fabric, and it's thrown up on all sides. I can't imagine what's inside without opening it up. Okay, um, and what else do we do? These are just cobwebs. They obviously don't clean at these rooms very often. Lamp? It looks like an orange lamp. Bars. I'm a barred window, and these bars look pretty massive. My dear, don't waddle here and come for your treatment. Quickly, quickly, shall I drag you there? Mean old ladies. Your mouth is still moving, but you're not saying anything. Um, why did you slam the door in front of my face? Am I, if I'm... And in my face, if I was supposed to follow her. Don't go anywhere. I will come back for you in a minute. I can't go anywhere anyways. Did he just hit me in the head? Okay. Bowl. It wasn't there before. Where did this come from? I didn't hear anyone coming. I had to be sleeping pretty hard after their treatment. With a little imagination, this could probably be considered as food. Well, hunger is the best cook. It wasn't a miracle, really, but I'll keep the bowl and the spoon. Maybe they will come in handy. With the spoon, I can get the, the brick out of the wall. Wait, I have to click on the spoon. There we go. Great, I managed to grind the mortar and remove the stone. Is there anything in the hole? Um, the hole is empty. What did I expect? A treasure? An escape map? When I was moving the stone, the wall sharpened the hard and the, the handle of the spoon. It, it, it might be useful. Anyways, I'll put the stone back now. Yeah, we can't use that weapon. Um, it seems there's something inside the pillow. Okay. Right, I have to use the sharpened spoon for the pillow. I'll try to cut out the fa cut through the fabric with the sharp end of the spoon. There really is a notebook in here, and it it's a diary. Some girl was waiting, was writing about the horrors in this building, and about losing all her strength, and about playing with a mouse that she lured to a piece of cheese. Bedtime, hurry, go to bed. You have to get up early tomorrow. Get up, get up, and go to work. Slave drivers. Come this door. Okay. 
Well, girl, work here. So now thread those beads through the on the strings. Yep, I said that correctly. What can I do? I'll take a string and thread this bead, and another bead, and another bead, and another bead, and another. Oh, so much beads. More string, more beads, more string, more beads. The bowl is empty except for a piece of string. I'll take it. Maybe it'll come in handy. At last, you're finished. It's time to go to your therapy. Don't move from this door. I will be right back. Boxes. There are some boxes here. One of them looks empty, but the second one has something inside. I can't open it with my hand. Um, by it by hands. Um, the box is taped by thick tape, and it can't. And I can't take the whole box. Someone would notice it's missing. So let's cut the tape. Pacha. I'll try opening the box carefully with the sharp end of the spoon. Wow, success! It seems that someone left a snack in there. I'll take this piece of cheese from the box. It could come in handy. Close the box again. I'm coming for you. Your therapy is waiting. Ha 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 ha. Dramatic. I think they're just evil. Okay, so with the cheese, we can lure out the mouse. And, well, and now what? Well, with the string, I can tie up the mouse. So, dear mouse, I caught you. But don't worry, I won't harm you, and, I, and I'll let you go soon, certainly. Now, what can we do with the mouse? Can we give it to her? I mean, she did have the diary in her pillow. I'll show her the mouse. Maybe it will wake up her. Wake her up. Did she move a bit, or am I just imagining it? Um, probably just my imagination. Bedtime. Quickly go to bed. Go to beds. Get up. Get up and get to work. More beads. Well, girl, work cures. So, exactly the same thing as yesterday. More beads. More string. More beads. More string. More beads. More string. I ran on a string. I should come out with a clever idea before the old hag tries to take me to that nasty therapy again. Hmm. Oh, the mouse. I will make the mouse scare her. Maybe I can quietly let the mouse go. Come here, mouse. I'll untie you carefully and go to that old hag. Here, slow mouse. Good, clever mouse. And now before the hag comes back, I'll, uh, I'll undertake something in here. Undertake. Keys! These keys would come in handy very much. But if I take them, that woman would notice, and I can't imagine what would happen then. Hmm, this box over here. Let's take this spoon and open it. I cut the tape on the box easily with the sharpen in the spoon. So, what's inside? There's a really nice long string here. I'll take it. Maybe it'll come in handy. There's nothing else really interesting in here, although there are some metal knitting needles here, and they seem firm. They could come in handy. I'll take one. And I'll let, it, I'll let it be for now. I'll just close it nicely. Okay, with the knitting needle, I bet we can open this crate over here, because I don't think the, um, the spoon could do that. This needle looks strong enough to pry the box lid open. I'll try it. Success! There are some tools in here. Could some of them come in handy? This masonry handle looks, could be useful. I'll take it. What did I do? What did I just do? <laughs> Phew, that was a blow. I feel like everything shook in here, and it must have been heard throughout the whole house. I didn't mean to click on that area. But the brick is loose, and inside there's only darkness. Heck, I hear footsteps outside. I guess they'll come in for me. I ha so I only have a few moments left. What can I do? Oh, I'm going to grab the keys. Well, no, I already tried that. I need these keys. I need them so much. But I can't take them. They would notice. What is that? Well, what was that? There was one set of keys, and now there are two identical sets. Some of the magical, some kind of magic happened in here, from the corner of the room over there. So I'll take, I can take one set of keys now. Let's hope this magical copy works. Don't move, girl. I'm a little late, but your therapy is about to start. Bedtime. Quickly go to bed. I don't think I'll go to sleep yet. I should wait till those women go to their rooms. Uh, there should, there's still not enough light outside, and these keys, it would be a shame to go to sleep. Okay, and I think I'll stop and I'll end the video here for now. Thanks so much for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe um, for more content. Um, thanks again so much for watching, and bye-bye. I don't know how long that video was.